Om Namah Shivaya students, this is Tulika ma'am, I am a chemistry teacher. This is a part 4 of the chapter Synthetic Fibers and Plastic. I have already uploaded 3 videos of the chapter where we have learnt about synthetic fibers, their uses, their types of synthetic fibers. Then we have also learnt about plastic, their uses, types of plastics and etc. Et so in this video we are going to learn about plastic pollution and how we can save our environment from plastic so before you watch this video keep your class for copy and pen ready with you write down the important points which are being discussed in the video in your class for copy as running notes now Plastic and environment. Plastic are not very good for our environment though they have got lots of use but they are not very good for our environment. Now coming to the word biodegradable and non-biodegradable. What do you mean by that? A material which gets decomposed through natural process are known as biodegradable materials. For example, plant waste, the pills of vegetables, fruits, animal waste, paper, cotton, etc. These are all biodegradable. They mix with the soil and therefore they do not pose any threat to the environment they are environmental friendly in nature what are non-biodegradable substance which is not decomposed by natural processes and they do not mix with the soil these are called non-biodegradable materials example plastic glass aluminium cans etc so these non-biodegradable materials they are not environmental friendly so plastic falls under non-biodegradable things and they are not good for our environment. Whenever we go to market, we generally do what we generally put our things in the plastic bags or plastic sheets and after we reach home the plastic bags etc are no longer needed and thus they become the waste and these waste keep on accumulating in our homes and ultimately they are being thrown along with the garbages and thus they keep on accumulating in the environment and in their plastic are non-biodegradable so they do not mix with the soil now if you think that you are going to burn the plastic that is also harmful because burning of plastic gives out harmful gases which creates further uh, pollution in the environment air pollution is caused sometimes when you throw the food along with the plastic the cows they eat the polythene bags and these polythene bags forms a lilin in their stomach and leads to their death the plastic thrown here and there clogs the drain and leading to unhygienic condition. The drain overflows, the water cannot pass, they overflows and it leads to unhygienic conditions. Mostly, if you see the small plastic bags, they are very harmful. They, cannot, they do not get decomposed and if you burn this plastic also, they will release lots of harmful gases. So these are the harmful effects of plastic. Thus, we must take some steps to save the environment from plastic pollution. Number one is, we should try to use cloth bag or jute bag rather than plastic bag. Now you will see the municipal corporation here in Kolkata, they have started already. They have given bags in our homes and you have to use those cloth bags in most of the markets as plastics are now banned okay so the, we should try to use cloth bag or jute bag rather than carrying plastic bag you should reduce the use of plastic first thing is we have to reduce the use of plastic for example a stainless stiffen box you can use for carrying tiffin in school rather than using a plastic tiffin box you can use a metal um, bottle to uh, for your water as water bottle rather than using a plastic bottle so first thing is we have to reduce the use of plastic next is 
you should not be throwing plastic here and there plastic wrappers here and there you should maintain two type of dustbin one is biodegradable dustbin another is non biodegradable dustbin i hope in your home now from the municipal corporation you are being given dustbin they have already started the project in kolkata where in the homes their corporation the municipal corporation is giving a green color dustbin and a blue color dustbin the green, green color dustbin is for bio biodegradable waste and the blue color dustbin is for non biodegradable waste reuse the plastic containers whenever possible for example the jam bottles the pickles the oil bottles you can reuse them to make like a uh, storage containers the jam bottles you can reuse it to make a storage container for some masalas you can do some um art and craft using bottles you cds etc remember the 5r principle number 1 is reduce 5r principle number 1 is reduce reduce means to reduce the use of plastic we have to start with that next is refuse you have to refuse the use of plastic if someone is giving you a plastic bag refuse it still i have my own cloth bag so i'll be using that recycle recycle the plastic the plastic the thermoplastic which can be recycled you recycle them recover and reuse this plastic again and again suppose you have got one plastic bag you try to use it as much as you can use it as many times you can don't uh, take the plastic like one day you take one plastic another day you take another plastic not like that you try to reuse the plastic again and again so these are the different ways by which we can save our environment from plastic pollution nowadays biodegradable plastic also have come in our in have come the scientists are working on them though they are costly the sci- uh, but they have been discovered plastic nowadays they are used for making roads also in many places of india already roads are being built from plastic waste so in this video we have learned about what are the harmful effects of plastic and what steps we can take to save our environment from plastic pollution thank you namaskar